Hello, welcome to Tech for Fun. Uh, this post is about understanding JavaScript strings. And uh, let's go through the key points of this post. Now, let's first see what is a JavaScript string. There are two kinds of JavaScript strings. One is string primitives and the other one is string objects. Now, these, these are actually the two ways to create JavaScript uh, strings. So when you create uh, primitives, you can use single quotes or the double quotes or the template literals. The advantage of using template literals is that you can use variables and expressions within the template strings. And the other choice, of course, to create strings with the uh, object, JavaScript string object, but avoid this option as much as you can because because it can create uh, unexpected behaviors when you comparing those strings now i have uh, talked in detail about it, this uh, behavior in my blog post you can read in detail and uh, now let's see about the the escape character now imagine you need to put double quotes within double quotes now if you try to do without an escape character it will give you an error so in, if you want to add double quotes within the double quotes within a string you need to use the backslash or the escape character another choice is actually with if you you can also use single quote uh, and to uh, around this the, the term red planet and if you use single quotes of course you don't need to use the escape character but uh, you cannot use that choice all the time so this is why the escape character is important and there are many uses that you can go through in my blog post now let's talk about template literals <clears throat> now as I mentioned before you can use uh, variables and expressions within the template strings now here as you can see there are three variables constant variables I have created and I have used that in within that template string here and you need to use square uh, brackets not square brackets it is brackets curly brackets and the dollar sign uh, to get that uh, variable also you can use expressions here you can see there are two variables 10 and 5 and you I try to get the sum within the string and you can use this uh, string and you can use the expression uh, the variables and the expression here so it will give you the sum of these two numbers uh, another thing is you can use uh, in template when you use template string you can use multi-line strings now this is important inside the code when you have a lot of long string you can use a template string as a multi-line um, string inside your code and it uh, can be easy to read your code uh, now let's see how to access a character in a string you can use the built-in method char at for example you can create a variable here and you can use uh, the index here uh, this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 so this will be this uh, character that returns so you also can use the bracket notations like just like in array you have to give the index here now important thing is that when you use an array if you have other work with arrays you might try to think that you can change with the index for example you might think you need to let's say you want to change the D here to capital D and you might use the array index to change but remember you cannot do this one because uh, JavaScript strings are uh, you cannot mute it. it you cannot change once you create it and I have talked in detail about uh, the this uh, behavior of JavaScript strings you can go through my a blog post uh, now the string uh, concatenation so you can add two strings like this and it will if you get a console uh, from this string and it will print hello world now when you add um, numbers the JavaScript will 
um, treat this number as a string it will convert this string to a number and the the total is the output will be a string also you can use string concatenation within your code uh, if you have long strings so this rather than putting all this string in one line you can uh, get this string into uh, multiple lines by adding the plus sign so this will be easy to if another developers go through your code it will be easy for him to uh, read your code and as I mentioned you, uh, before you can also use template literals in this case another important aspect in JavaScript uh, strings is comparing now you can use these operators to compare uh, for example if you compare a string apple and banana it will actually get the the ASCII code or the unicode uh, of A and B the unicode or the ASCII code of A is 65 and for B is 66 because this statement is false it will return false so this is how it compares strings in JavaScript. Now, uh, it's very important to know the difference between the equality and strict equality. Now, when you compare, let's say, string, this is a string and a number with the equality operator, it will take it as a, the same string, as equal, uh, because the equality operator it does not consider the data type. So it will take both as equal. On the other hand, the strict equality does compare, does consider the data type. So for this uh, strict equality, these are not the same. So this is something very important to keep in mind. Now let's talk about JavaScript strings methods. Now there are a lot of built-in methods uh, in JavaScript and uh, in this video I won't tell you in detail but you can go through uh, uh, this um, this uh, summary and we also talk about char at uh, contact uh, we did not talk about con uh, concat so this is a small description of the summary of uh, the strings and uh, I have a, a, another post regarding the uh, substring which uh, you can use and you can go through that uh, post if you click on this um, uh, link in the uh, blog post so uh, thank you for this uh, brief uh, video regarding uh, JavaScript strings thank you for visiting my site tech for fun